How's it going Toy Hunters? Toy Hunter Fusion here. In today's video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Build-A-Figure Abomination Wave Marvel Legends Iron Skull figure. Here's a close look at the box. Really nice um, artwork for Iron Skull. I believe he's from the Avengers Assemble cartoon. Uh, I actually remember seeing an episode like a few years ago of him fighting the Avengers I guess. Uh, here's the description. Armed with the intellectual genius and dangerously inventive mind, Iron Skull is a powerful ally to evil. Here we go, here are the rest of the figures in the wave. Um, the only one that actually interests me besides Iron Skull is probably Scarlet Witch, because she's from Civil War. The other figure's pretty cool as well, but the other figures really just don't excite me. Uh, again, let's just get another close look at the box. Other than that, let's get right into the unboxing. Alright, so here is the Iron Skull figure out of the box. And before we actually get into the figure review, you do get one of the legs to the Build-A-Figure Abomination so that's cool again just a figure piece so it's not really important until we get all the figures so here is the iron skull figure and this is probably one of my favorite marvel legends figures because it uses um the mold from iron man 3 and the age of ultron iron man which is the mark 42 and mark 43 and that's my favorite mold because it has a, a nice variety of art articulation and sculpting here we go we have the nice shoulder pads here and it, i really like the coloring it's just a simple uh, darker red and black, which is great. They didn't have to go too over the top to make this look like a good figure. Uh, again, great articulation on the feet everywhere. So, I would say if I had Iron Man review up, I don't. But if I, if I did, go check that out. Maybe Who knows, maybe if you're watching this in the future, I might have it up. So, some great leg articulation. Great chest articulation or body movement, upper body movement. Arm articulation is great. We have this side, which is a closed fist, which is great. You can aim it upwards and has the little flaps, which are great as well. I don't know, something about that really so satisfying to just see. You pull them up the arm. You have the nice um, rubber shoulder pads. In this hand, we have the repulsor hand, which is white instead of blue, like Iron Man usually have, or uh, yellow. It's nice yellowish white, kind of. Arm articulation is great. No double jointed elbows, sadly. Um, back and forth. Here's the back, and I guess this. And again, the sculpt on this figure is just great, especially on the back. Makes you really appreciate Hasbro, and they they don't always mess up on their figures. I I tend to see they mess up more on the Black Series than they do the Marvel Legends, which is it's sad, but I mean at least they're not messing up on both. And again, this is just the regular Red Skull head, which is a. Um, it's the same head from the Captain America the Winter Soldier wave, but it is much, much better. I always said in the Winter Soldier one that Red Skull kind of looked like a monkey. I don't know why. He still kind of does a little bit, but it looks much better. They had much more, more paint apps on, um, which is just great. Here's a close look at the head. And then you have the second head, which is kind of like an Iron Man mask, which is great. I love this head. And if you have like um, a Tony Stark head, I'm pretty sure it will fit on this on this Iron Man armor or Iron Skull armor so that's great and here's a closer look at the head which is great you got some great paint apps on that too now uh, we're gonna come back you're gonna get him in a few poses and compare him to a few other Marvel Legends figures we'll be back with you then Alright, so here is Iron Skull compared to a bunch of other Marvel Legends figures. Here he is compared to the Build-A-Figure, um, Ironmonger Wave, Ultron, the Titus Wave, and Kid Nova himself, the Allfather Wave, Thor, and the Groot Wave, Metallic, or whatever he is, Cosmic Iron Man. Um, again, I just love comparing other figures to the Thor because he's so huge. Um, it's really funny. We're going to get a bunch more poses and then we're going to close off the video. We'll see you then. That's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Toy Hunt, Marvel Legends reviews, and many other toy reviews. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Yeah.